let me just tell y'all the devil is so busy the devil is so busy so we just waiting on our viewers to come up for the people that's not on our page and watches us on YouTube we waiting to get a few more viewers so we can start back the conversation. It was really good. This part two of the video. It was really good. And we're going to continue where we have a few more questions. So we just waiting for our viewers to come back. Check out part one. Thank you for coming back, cuz. And please share, share, share. Please share this video as well. If our video, if Facebook cut our video off, we do come back right after that. So please tune right back in. Yeah. What's up, Tiara? Thanks for coming Thank back. You, Tiara. This is going to be part two of the video because it was shut down. A lot of times Facebook shut our videos down or whatever. What's up, Darnell? But we always come back. So thanks for coming back with us. And please share, share, share. I need some more tea. I need some. Facebook, you already know it. <laughs> you already know it. But whenever they do it, guess what? We come right back. Right, right back. They shut us down all the time, and we come right back, and we appreciate the fact that y'all come back with us. We have a few more questions, and we're going to finish them. And then this time, we didn't even play any music. I said, we're not going to play no music because I know they're going to shut us down or whatever. And they did it anyway. Michelle, what's that uh, noise out there? I'm so sick of this. I think I'm going to just see. Okay, this is why I want everything, to, everybody to subscribe to the YouTube channel so I can just go live from YouTube. Yeah. You put the link up there? No. I mean, follow the link above Um, in the last video, part one. I'm going to also post the link on my page or whatever. Please subscribe to the page because nine times out of ten, I'm going to be going live from YouTube. Because, I mean, we doing nothing. I can't take this. Don't talk about y'all black. <laughs> yeah, we do look dark on here now. That's all right. So, y'all ready to continue? I noticed you had wrote something, Michelle. A lot of y'all were saying something, and I have to go back and read it on part one, and I will reply back to it. Thank you, Tiara. Now, I should play some music since they didn't shut the video down anyway. So, they can shut this one down. <laughs> let's just get okay, so let's move questions. along to this question. <laughs> okay, so ain't no guys online. I'm going to just put this one to the side because this one for the fellas. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Would you ever have sex for money if that was your only option? Yes. With no questions. With no question. So if it was your only option, if you needed the money, that was your only option, would you have sex for it? My son, my son got to eat. I'm sorry. Whatever it takes. So I don't have any. I just want what I want. Michelle said, girl, I don't hear nothing. It's probably y'all neighbors. <laughs> it's probably y'all neighbors. Make that money. Portia said, make that money. Like, seriously, you know what I'm saying? Not just because you want to do it or whatever, but yeah, Donna said, hell yeah, charm got to eat, period. That's just the thing. If you really needed it and was in that struggle, that situation or whatever... Most people be hidden just because anyway for no money. So shit, if that all if that's all it take for me to make money that I need, mask on. I'll do that. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yep. Survival of the fittest, baby. Period. Next question. I tried to go to Michelle question, but mine. Computer is acting up. <laughs> Michelle said, yes, I'm busting this motherfucker open. Make it happen. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell you, make it happen. Yeah, Maya needs some sugar. <laughs> 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 gotta do what you gotta do to feed your family. Yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> Shit, just like the guys, you know what I'm saying? I'll put, put the prostitutes out of business. When okay. Down man, period. What's up, Gabby? Thanks for coming back. You know, Facebook shut us down. So I want everybody to to subscribe to the YouTube channel because so we're going to start going live. going live from YouTube. But um, that's just like the guys or whatever be selling drugs. Like y'all take that big risk on selling drugs because y'all feel like y'all don't have no other no option. other option. Well, all you gotta do is bust it open and be straight. They be doing that too. <laughs> they have sex with you and be calling She's talking about day. Donna talking about throwing this in a circle for charm for charm. Yeah. Um, Gabby, the question was, would you have sex with someone for money if there was no other option? Thanks for sharing. So if you didn't have any other options and you was really in need and you really needed that money, would you have <laughs> sets for it? Absolutely. Oh, wow. So we're going to wait on Gabby. We're going to wait on Gabby to answer that question. Yeah, you better answer it right, because you is the MVP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can learn some things. We can learn some things. Instead of us asking Siri on Google or whatever, we can ask Gabby. I'll try to tell you. Inbox me your number. <laughs> yep, so if that was the only option, ladies, would you have sex for that money? Yep. All right, Gabby, till you figure it out, we're going to move to the next question. And it's really not a question. It's a preference. Missionary or doggy style? Rough, rough. Roof, roof. Rough, rough. Rough, rough. I thought it was roof, roof. It's, it's pretty for the girls. Rough, rough. <laughs> it's Donna talking about, hell yeah, put them, them boobs on them, Gabby. <laughs> What's going on down there? That's our problem. I don't know. I don't know. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to get to Facebook. Y'all know I can't see, so I'm trying to go on my laptop. Gabby said, hell yeah. Kate needs him. I'm doing anything to provide for my son, selling drugs, pussy, whether it's man or somebody (laughs) else's. Girl, you put the people out there. Say so you pimping for your baby. Portia said, throw that ass in a circle. Donna said, both. Man. Uh, Well, somebody told me missionary is for a couple that's in love or whatever. Somebody told me that you can't go around doing missionary just with yeah, random people or whatever the situation well. may be. So, I think missionary is boring. What? <laughs> Cause I don't want to be looking at you like doggy. Cause for doggy, y'all know that's right. Hey, Kiki. Missionary or doggy? She's talking about for sure. I am for real. Yep. What's up, Rosie? Hey, Rosie. Cause I don't want you all in my face. Then they be making them little stupid faces. Like you don't want to see him, right? Because let because this, ugh. I just missionary will put you in some unwanted situations. What you mean? Give me one. Cause the last time I went that way with somebody, he, I'm not even finna have y'all laughing. <laughs> Them faces were so stupid. Uh. I'm trying to do missionary because she said she just lay there anyway. <laughs> oh, my God. You know that came from Donna. She Y'all, I just, I can't get over the faces. Tape. The face is just so stupid. Okay. I like, um... You know what I mean? Say that shit, sis. We did have some, um... I don't see him. All right, let's move along. Let's watch that. Doggy. Gabby say, doggy, because if you make the wrong face, I'm going to laugh at you. Or simply because you may see faking that sh- You may see me faking that shit. Yes. Michelle said, missionary is boring. 
But that's Get another question. Get your sweaty ass. Or just... Get your sweaty ass up and smack my ass from the back. I'm telling you. You end up with a stalker. Because last time, look. The last time I had a missionary, this boy with this guy, whatever. He, them, that, ooh, them faces, like. But do mm. you fake sex? Yes, all the time. You fake sex? Yes. Why do you fake sex? I would think you'd be the one that be, don't make noise if it's not right. Or I wouldn't think you would fake it and make them feel like they doing something. Well, that I've not. done that before, too. I had this one guy that asked me before he like why won't hold on oh, they try to give me the judge hold on y'all finish talking to her i got them wait a minute you had this one guy to deal what hold on let me scoot over y'all know i can't see missionary is boring get your sweaty ass off of me we read that one and I would I'm trying to tell you end up with a stalker because it's too personal. Like missionary is like too personal for me. It's a lot of things that's personal to me that y'all might feel that's weird, like riding. That's too personal. I don't ride everybody. That's too personal. Okay, Gabby, I don't know what you're talking about, but I got you. Michelle said, no, why fake it? Why fake it? I don't know. I think, like, sometimes you have to fake it sometimes because if you moan or something like that, they'll, they'll do a little better or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I can't see. This is so embarrassing, y'all. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, Gabby, we're going to uh, skip your question until I get some glasses or some cocoa cum because I definitely can't see and I'm so close to the camera. But I know you got a lot to say on her. Shit. I don't want to press the wrong button there. In the shit. As y'all can see, I be need my sister. She can't go on break. I'm the only one that can go on break because I can't see. I don't know what y'all be seeing. I be want to reply and everything, but I just can't because I can't see what y'all be seeing. But I love y'all and y'all love me, so y'all just deal with me. All right, let me see y'all what y'all been talking about. A lot. Gabby said I have plenty I have plenty times because of I'm not in the mood and he is and I'm gonna give it to him, me and my man. And when I'm not in the mood, I'm not in the mood. I'm gonna make him feel good and go my ass to the bathroom, shower and go to sleep. <laughs> Shay said no. Portia said yes, it's personal both. Or I agree with Vanna, so she gonna have to take it take it doggy and move around. If you're not my man, Donna said, this blind hoe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, I can't see. Even when I put my glasses on, sometimes I still can't see. But I definitely fake it. Like, because it's like, I'm already gone. And we already in it. Like, let's just fake. Let me fake this shit and get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. Like, for real. Then I had this one dude. Like, why when we, um... Do it over there. I only gave them two times. I could not take it anymore because That's he was another thing. Like if they, if you have sex with somebody and they whack the first time, do you give them a second chance? I, uh, yeah, two times. The first time I said, well, so maybe he'll help back. Because a lot of times they be nervous. Two they strikes be and nervous. you out. Two strikes and you out. I don't do it. Three. What is that blind like your auntie? He asked me, he like, why you always be looking up in the ceiling, rolling your eyes and shit? I said, because you wasting my time. Wow. Michelle said, no, you got to be directed. That shit don't feel good. I'm going to need you to, um, I'm going to need you to do this or that. That's just more than just pleasing the other person. You got to make sure you get yours. I ain't going. Yes. Shay said, I can't fake shit. Exactly. Been there before. Just trying to get it over with. Yeah. And I don't do missionary either because the last guy I did missionary with, his face was just so ridiculous. He was blowing and shit. He was like, I think that's personal. That's a If you you have sex with somebody missionary, that means they feel you. Don't feel me if you. you Don't feel me if you. (laughs) 
<laughs> Y'all be saying no second chances, no oh, worry when you come back. It if it was here. whack, right. Show your ass out of here. Well, you write me. Like I said, sometimes people be nervous or whatever, and then I might go back again if I'm bored. Shit. Share the video. Subscribe to our channel, y'all. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel because we definitely finna start going live from YouTube because Facebook be tripping and we want y'all to stay with us. Why would you go back because you bored? No point. I know the fuck he did. Yes, he did, girl. He was... <laughs> I'm like, man, I can't wait till this over. Don't listen to her. Gabby said, don't feel me. If you can't fuck my dude, right. Well, she also, like, y'all so damn dumb. Like, for real, oh, shit. Man. Blowing and shit, fuck is you blowing for? Let me stop even trying to read the comments. Here she go with that personal shit. It's not personal no it more what she doing. It. That's because y'all like me and women. I'm a... Woman, woman, y'all, you, you a white mix. Woman. That's personal, bitch ass. <laughs> <laughs> For real, like, show goofy ass out of here. Let's see. I would have got my shit and left. Shit, he was here. I mean, at my house. What? Let me go on. <laughs> Look at our security camera. <laughs> Figure out who this was. Next question. If a man had a lot of kids Did with multiple women, I hey, can't Shanae. See, wait a minute. Let me let me stop you right now. Hey, Shanae. I already can't see and I already can't read the questions. My only job is to pick the question. So why do you pick my questions? For first me? of all, I'm going to let you slide with this one. No, you ain't going to let me slide with shit because first of all, this was already on the table. If y'all saw this question already on the table, comment a thumbs up. Please. Please. Let her ass know she be tweaking. Before I get real. Anyway, the question was, if a man had a lot of kids with multiple women... Let me see. Would dating him be a problem even though he take care of all of them? All right. So if a man had multiple kids, would dating him be a problem if he took care of all his kids? Well, he had all these kids by different women. Would that be a problem? I think that's a better chance. Thumbs up, dum dum. Yeah, it is. There we go. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Cause I'm Anybody want to get added? Send a request. So. Hey, y'all. Coming to y'all live. <laughs> Why y'all can't hear me? They hear what we saying. I can Why hear y'all. Nope, the bigger the family. Go to your media. If anybody can hear Donna, put thumbs up because we can't hear her. Of course, because media is silent. Are you on silence? How do you block somebody from viewing your video if they like? <sighs> on the old end. What's up, Donna? I can hear y'all. Y'all can't hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Gabby said, hell yeah, it's a problem. You fucking bitches getting them pregnant and leaving. Get the fuck away from me. Exactly. You got all these kids by multiple women. It's it's definitely a problem. But what if it ain't still Mr. Woman? No, ring that bitch. What you say? Don't ring that bell. Just read the question, okay? No, it's your ass. If you got kids by multiple women, it's something with your ass. You got all these women. It could be you chick you chicken up on a person. Hmm. I you know how many times it's gonna say. Why you keep having I'm gonna stick up with for the self. No, <laughs> the stick up shit. Up. It's something but wrong with real. you. Sometimes it can't be that person, the people that you pick. 
Okay, but coming in a new relationship, like somebody that you don't have kids with, you know what I'm saying? Would it be a problem to you? So if you was with somebody mm -hmm. that had about six or seven baby mamas, that wouldn't be a problem for yeah, you? Yeah, because I'm not dealing with all the baby mamas. Yeah, that's a problem. Let me just say this. Since I was in that situation, as long as the baby mamas is not fucking with you or bringing drama to y'all relationship, then he can have as many baby mamas as he wants to. Long saying fucking with me. Okay. Okay, but what about the time? You got all these baby mamas and kids. What about the time? What if I need you to be with me and you got to be somewhere else like all the time? And then what about that money? You got all these kids you got to break bread with. No. That's true. Well, I guess I ain't had that problem because a motherfucker won't let him won't let him see the kids. So, yeah, that's just that's too much. I'm running in that situation. Gabby said, "Right, the fuck." The thing is, why keep why keep having kids? You have a kid with everybody. You was with right. That shit don't make no sense. You just busting, just busting, just busting. Get your goofy ass out of here. <laughs> That'll definitely be a problem with me. Because it's always going to be something and the something ain't going to never be about you. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but what if you don't have kids and he don't want any more? It won't work. Right, because he got so many. So when he gets to you and you don't got no kids, now you don't want none. You gave all these other bitches a baby or kids or whatever the situation may be. You, my man, we in love. We together now. When you get to me, you don't want none. So goofy. Can't be together then. Right. I'm going to marry you and I'm going to take care of you and your kids. How that sound? Simple, and that's something that I really want. So you seeing him interacting with these kids and him want to give you no kid, that's something that you really I want. I want to do with the three baby mamas. Right, but see, that's shit. That's, well, that's just three, hell. Shay said that that's something you sign up with it if you want to deal with it. Shit, I don't think no woman in her right now want to deal with that shit because that's like you going like dark in your own heart. Like, I don't understand that. Yeah, Gabby said that he gonna always be complaining about them damn baby mamas. They gonna be calling left to right knee. So that's why I said it's always gonna be something, and you ain't gonna be that something. It's gonna be about everything else but your ass. No, I don't want to hear that shit. Like I want to live my life. I don't want your. Problem. I got my own damn problems. Gabby like said right then you gonna be the one he want to marry, but not give you a kid. Just stay away from me. That's why I got a bounce. Hmm. I wasn't going to be the fourth baby mama or last. Right. Why be added to that shit? Hell no. That's a turn off for me. If I'm with a guy or just got with a guy and he tell me in the beginning that oh, he got more than one added. baby mama, I, I'm saying in the beginning, you tell me you got more than one, one baby mama, that's a turn off for me. Like, I guarantee you I won't be seeing your ass no more. Thanks for the share, Gabby. I will not be seeing that. Shay said that's her life right now. She said her man ain't got none. He got hers. Right. What if you think of it vice versa? What if you got like five kids? And the <laughs> man got no well, kids. I ain't think about it like that. Michelle said he must get some good dick then. <laughs> <laughs> she he got gold on the tip of that joint. I don't know, man. Well, but then again, if everybody done had it and gave them a baby. Portia said his pullout game weak. But like you said, vice mm -hmm. versa, I ain't think about that because I can be the mother of, you know what I'm saying, about five kids or have me maybe, you know what I'm saying, two or three baby daddies or whatever. And I would want somebody to be with me, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't think about it like that. But it's just that we think different from these guys, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So... She said, what's the right? Pull out game weak as hell. That's good that you got somebody that's there. Somebody that even consider your kids, they kids. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like worse up for a female to find somebody that's going to stay with her in that situation because you have a child father. So child father's at the a-hole. 
They worse than the females. Yeah, they worse than when a female know her baby daddy was somebody versus when a male knows that his baby mama was somebody. I think the males are worse, sir. Right. But like what that what that do though, I don't get that. It'd be a lot of guys like that don't do shit, that don't even take care of their kids. Whack ass guys. It's like every chick they go to, once you leave their ass, they having a baby with them. I'm done with your ass. You got Salsa. three more baby daddies. I mean three more baby mamas after me. Like, what you trying to prove? Shelter. They looking for shelter. They like if I put a baby on her, they give me nine months cash. Well, ten months cash. What's up, DeAndre? Hey, cuz. This bitch thinks she's slick. She don't want to type. Right, she can get her ass off the line so she can type in them questions. All right. Let me see. She said we a team, baby, or get the fuck on, baby daddy gets along, so... That's what's up. You in a win-win situation. She went on. Yeah. <laughs> Said baby daddy gets along too. That's what's up. I hope that works out. But do out. you think that's important for you to introduce your spouse to your child father before y'all get serious? Do you think you should bring that into your relationship before you get serious? Cause it's, no matter who I saw, so they always ask me who was my child father. Yeah, and then I, when I show them like a picture, of something they get scared. But that's normally what I do too. Like I talk a lot to guys. Like you know, <laughs> he my best friend. Like a guy best friend. I find out a lot about him before I even decide on what I want to do. So yeah. yeah, Michelle said most men. <laughs> Gabby like, said, "Let's I take one. you off because we can't really see the comments, Donna." Go here. Okay. It's like the time is on. Sure. Come on, come you got on. it. Gabby said, I got one. My dude got two. He treat Caden just like his, vice versa. And it's no baby mama drama because the bitch know I make sure he makes sure them kids straight. So don't call unless the kid's sick. That's what's up. You win win it too. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. That's the only time they come back around. Only time you hear from their ass. I ain't heard from your ass in about two or three years. Now you my friend because it's motherfucking yeah. December and January. Get your goofy ass out of here. We don't communicate. Gabby said, fuck my baby daddy. If the daddy involved in a child life, yes, introduce them. If not, fuck you. Get your slick ass out of here trying to come back around. Because that's a question. When you dating somebody, you talking to somebody, they always ask you about their child mother or their child father. Mm -hmm. Pieces of me, Marie. I'm late. What's the topic? The topic is... What the hell is the topic? We didn't make that topic like three different questions. Oh, if a man had multiple baby mothers... Would dating him be a problem? Shay said, "Help the daddy should meet him, so the daddy will know if they get around, if they got around his kids. Only goofy bitches act silly. Yeah, mm. only goofy bitches act. So only goofy bitches act goofy, for real. Goofy, goofy. Donna, where you at? I don't even see you on here no mm -hmm. more. Okay. Yep. So that was the question." If you was with a guy that had multiple baby mothers, would that be a problem for you? you Want to go with the next question? Yeah. Next question. My boyfriend got six baby mamas. God damn. Yeah, what's that? How many kids he got by each one of these baby mamas? Pieces of me, Marie. Six baby mamas. Okay. I ain't judging. I'm just God Do damn, you, cause right. that was a big number. Like, do you have problems with them, or is everything cool? Okay, Donna. Well, she said it's her boyfriend, so that means they're in a relationship right now. So that's what they, I'm saying. Do she have problems with the child mothers, or is everything smooth? Mm. Hey, Stephanie. I don't know. So that was the question for those of you who are just tuning in. If you are in a relationship with a guy and he has multiple baby mothers, would that be a problem for you? 
Something about six bitches. Donna said, how does that work out? Uh, Wait, Gabby, who said six bitches? They've been together a minute too, and she don't like the bitches, but they happy. Oh, <laughs> uh, see, yeah. Well, that's what's up then. Hey, Quita. Yep. Okay, y'all. So the next question is: Have y'all ever had sex with a guy while his dog was in the room? <laughs> Let's see. What's up, Jonathan? Congratulations hey. on that new beautiful baby girl. Clayton said, no, the baby mama just better know her place for real. But I said multiple, so you mean the baby mothers. Angel. Oh, that's Angel. Michelle says she has a question. Do you want to be added to the live, Michelle? If so, send a request. If not, type if not, question. type, type, type. Have you ever had sex with a guy and his dog was in the bedroom, bathroom, or whatever? Have you? All the time when I tell his ass, I can't have sex with this damn dog in here. <laughs> <laughs> How can women be with men who don't take care of their kids? Loneliness. That was a question yesterday. That was a question we had yesterday. We talked about that several days in almost every video and just loneliness. Gabby said, <laughs> what the fuck type of shit is that? Hell no, dog probably be staring, trying to get a lick or a stick in. Fuck no. Eating panties. I'm just saying. <laughs> Let's see. Does that make you a dog ass bitch though? Oh. Laugh out loud, we've been together seven years. But, and we I have. Wait, but and when I have to... When I don't, I sit back. Also, when she got to jump in, she jump in. If she don't, yeah, Michelle she don't. said, that's weird. Donna said, a dog with four legs or his homie. <laughs> 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 a dog with four legs, Donna. She got I can't take her. What was Michelle's question again? So? Michelle was basically saying, like, how can you be with a man that don't take care of their kids? And like I was oh, saying. Yeah, we talked about that um yesterday. Lonely and insecure. Because I definitely don't want to be with somebody who don't take care of their kids. So you get with me and you have, I got kids. And what if I get pregnant by you? That means you're not going to take care and of the ones kids. that I got or you're not going to take care of your own. So like that don't make sense. Like I'm a woman, like I love kids. I take care of every kid on the block when they're around. So I can't, I definitely can't be with somebody that on the real. And if I just got with you and I ain't been with you too long and I find out that you have kids that you don't take care of, it's over with for you. Period. That's the most unattractive shit on the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. And then we want you to send your kids with them on Father's Day or Mother's Day. No. Debbie, no. No. Right. They try to come around for that Father's Day, though. No, don't try to... Right. As it. Shit, let that motherfucker watch. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so that don't make you a dog-ass bitch, huh? I just can't take her. Her Gabby the real MVP. So I'm trying to tell you. Yes, y'all. So we gonna start going live from YouTube. Don't forget to click on the link. Subscribe. It takes you right to the YouTube page and subscribe. We need Gabby enough to... people to subscribe before we go over there because we just can't leave yeah. the people that's on Facebook. We need y'all to subscribe to YouTube. Yeah, we don't want to just leave y'all on Facebook. We having a lot of problems with Facebook. So, But if y'all want the conversation and y'all want to talk, we need y'all to subscribe to the YouTube. Let me see. Gabby said, right. I just can't. 
Nigga, you ain't even taking care of your first and main priority. Then I can't communicate with your ass. I talk bad to niggas just because if I know they don't take care of their kids, right? Donna, him and his dog gonna run a train on your ass. <laughs> Should I say something about Woof? <laughs> What's up, Brittany? Thanks, Quita. Thanks, Quita. What's up, Brittany? Question. Why daddies be trying to get the babies on Father's Day? Like they doing something. Yeah, we just said that. My thing is, you ain't even loving my baby. You trying to stunt with my baby like you just father of the year. Mm. You ain't finna stunt with man. My son or my daughter, my kids at work. But you they ain't off on Father's Day. If you want to come get them on Father's Day, at least you spend the time with them. Come get them. So, absolutely But the not. child going to notice that you want to come get me on Father's Day. Not why they turn, little. Me, personally, as a parent, I'm not going to turn down no time that a child could spend with their parents, whether it's the father or the mother. So, if you want to come get them on Father's Day or Mother's Day, be my guest. I wouldn't either, but still, I'm going to teach you a lesson. Well, I'm going to make sure my child have my a deadbeat dad, get him an airbrush shirt to say be dad or be mama. You ain't finna stunt with my shorty. He want to take the babies to a barbecue, right? Right, Queen of Shit. Come. come and get them. I need a break because I'm a mother every day of the week, every day of the month, every day of the year. So that the one day. to be yeah. around others. Fake ass Father's Day. Yep. Katie making me Father's Day cards all the time. I am the pappy. Well, now he don't, he don't do them for my, he doing them for my boyfriend. That's mm -hmm. what's up. Let me see. Michelle says, so y'all know I was with y'all for Halloween. I sent Maya dad a pic and he posted it on Facebook like he was there. I reported that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. Why? <laughs> Trying to stun or whatever. But you know, yes. her daddy do be around though. Like when we be up at the school and they had a little daddy and me things and stuff like that or whatever. But now his ass went there on Halloween. He definitely was, man. You don't sit with bitches. Yeah, I don't know why I did it. My friend, well, I got a friend. She she has a problem with people sharing her her baby pictures. So like, I don't know if I should. I don't know. And yeah, been with them all year, but now you want to take them to a barbecue, right? Now that's the question, Marie. Pieces of me. What did she say? No, she's saying, now nah, that's a good question. That's what I'm saying. What was the question that she That said? Donna asked. What were you talking about now? Oh, I thought she said somebody else in there. Mm -mm. That's enough. She need. That's not enough. She needs him emotionally. Right. So when you can't be there, my thing is, when you can't be there for your kid emotionally, like... And you you, you know, some wrong with us take to their fathers more than they take to their parents. So the father is basically teaching them what to look for when they decide to get in a relationship with somebody, you know. Yeah, but then but if you but like if you can't be there for your kid emotionally, something wrong with you. Like you you hurt as hell. Mm -hmm. You didn't get, you know what I'm saying, well, you that love or whatever, the tools that you needed, you know what I'm saying, to be that good dad. Not even perfect, but just to be that good dad, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like how you don't know how to be a father? They ain't gonna respect. That's right. Mm -hmm. No, she said, how can a bitch have a kid, give it away, and have another kid, and act like they don't know the kid? Wow. Yeah, that's that's really disrespectful for a mother to do. Like, how you gonna give your kid away? And have another child and act like you don't know the kid. Bitch, get your whack ass out of here. Your whack, goofy, stupid me, ass. It's, it's no excuse. I know we make excuses on why people not there. Bitch, you a bum. That. But to be a mother and to hold a kid for that long and it's it's sad. It's more sad for a mother. And that baby that you trying to act like you don't father. know, I hope they smack the shit out of her ass. Let me see, Michelle said, here and there, ain't cutting it. I don't get a break. I can't pick and choose when I want to be around. 
True. Yeah, yeah acting like they living the best life and say fuck they baby. Gabby said, "Why well, I added some. That's deep. That is deep. Yes. Pretty cute on Facebook. So is that the person that's doing it? Because I, I want, I'm going to look up. Pretty quee. I'm sorry. Pretty quee on Facebook. Maybe she needs some type of help, though, because that's disturbing. But you know what? Another thing is women go through a lot of stuff. Like, women go through postpartum. So, that's yeah. a bit, like something that she's going through. The yeah, that's a real big not, issue. You know what I'm saying? And us as mothers, we don't speak up on it because we be afraid that they're going to take our kid from us. Or they're going to put us in a crazy But that's a lot of times. You know? A lot of times, that's how they be. These kids be getting hurt, though. Yeah. Let me see, Gabby said, real stupid deadbeat ass bitch, but it's her loss because the baby going to grow up and be the shit. And them motherfuckers going to regret it. Yeah, normally when um parents turn their back on kids or they be drug addicts and stuff, them be the kids that really turn out to be something in life. And they be looking stupid when they become something. Them be the smartest kids because they take all that anger and they put them in. Is that shooting? Yes, that makes them. And they strong. put them in um books and stuff like that. Them be the smartest kids. I'm trying to see what's going on outside. I be so nosy. I be on it, y'all. What was that? Did you hear that, Michelle? That was the candy board. He didn't ring the door. No, she got three. They said now she got three kids. Yes, y'all know her. You met her sister. She from the hood. <laughs> I can't stand Gabby. I mean, but shit, that's something that you can't have. Like, like we said before, you know what I'm saying? Why you claim you happy with the life choices that you made and try to have them? You can't have that. Everybody knows she ain't there for that baby. Well, I'm not just judgmental, but right. she needs to sit her ass down and close her ass. Close it and right, sew it all the way up. If you don't want kids and you're going to keep dropping your kids on somebody else, why you just don't get your tubes set? Or why you just don't get on the birth control? Like, don't they got like birth control for three to five years? I don't know because I don't believe in birth control, you guys. So I don't know how that works. But I do think they got like something that you could put in for like five years that will prevent that's you. That's same thing. Yeah. Gabby said she got three other kids. Oh my God, Gabby be cool. And like, <laughs> I never like cared, LaDonna. I just knew Angel was finna bring that up. Man, that's sad. And you know what? We can sit down and we can talk about her. You know what I'm saying? All night or for, you know what I'm saying? For however long at the end of the day. It's really sad for the kid. Yeah. I hate to hear of a hurt kid or know a kid is hurt. You know what I'm saying? That hurts me as a person. Like, man, that baby ain't do nothing. nothing like nobody. And there's so many people out here that want kids and can't have them. And so if God bless you to have a child, you ought to provide for that child in a way that that child needs. Right. Like, but sometimes you ain't good for that kid. And it might be a good thing that she gave that damn baby away. Because the way she acting and carrying along and shit, she not good for that but baby. But that's what so. I'm saying. Like, I feel like, me personally, like that's another thing Like I don't want to really get deep into. Because it's like on the spiritual level. But God give you kids for a reason. You have to take that sign. You got to know what he giving you this child for. And use that and work with that. Right. Because he only give you kids to better you in some type of way. Or to help that kid, you know? Pieces of Marie said she gave it to my mama and my mama dad. She still don't care. Sorry for your loss. Sorry for your loss. I already know. My back for 10 years. Or why you just don't step up and take care of your responsibility. Pre-sister. Because she can't. Mm -hmm. Hey, Tasha. Hey, Tasha. Because she can't. She can't step up. If you look, if you know better, you do better. And sometimes we talk about it like it's so wrong, but sometimes it's a good thing. 
Sometimes if you, instead of looking at it as, in a negative way, look at it as in a positive way. Because she gave her baby to somebody that she knew that was going to take care of her baby. Somebody that wasn't going to hurt her baby. She knew that she couldn't do it, so she stepped away. Maybe her present ain't going to do nothing but make it worse for the baby. So maybe that's why she stepped away. Well, let me tell y'all something. I, I hope she know. don't watch this and report my damn video. Let me see. <laughs> for real. So I look. Let me see. Yes, that's what I be saying. It's not about me. I be thinking about shy, shy feelings. And she be wanting to be around her brothers and sisters. Yeah, that's the sad yeah. part. So do somebody else got the other kids? Or do she have the other kids? Well, like they said, like yeah, one of the times they said that she have other, other kids right. and act like she don't know that kid. That's what I'm saying. If she got the other kids, or do somebody else got the other kids? Because if somebody else got the other kids, they could just set up play date. And I believe it. It sounds like she has the kids. And then a lot of people grow hate for the person that they had the kid with, and they don't want to be bothered with the kid because of their daddies. Let me see. Gabby said she really can, though. I don't want to hear that shit. It's not like... Oh, oh, hold on. It's not like they never met Shira, know her and her siblings, and she just can't be around them and she wants to man that's crazy that's sad. she got the other kids she got them they said she got them yeah that's what it sound like in the beginning i don't know because i'm i'm kind of like i be in a situation like that too like my son he be want to play with his brothers and sisters and things like that but i don't know how the other parents are but i do reach out to my child father and his mother to try to get the kids together because that's the only way you can do it if you can't reach out to them you got to reach out to somebody that's closer yeah because they only see each other like your son only see his siblings around birthdays right and it's so sad it's because the child mothers feel some type of way or whatever the case may be or think that you're gonna do something to their kid like i'm not even that type of person you know i just want the kids to be together because they want to <laughs> be together donna said ring that damn bell next question she said the other, okay, the other three got the same daddy or whatever. So she doing that for the man. Yeah. She doing that for a man. I know somebody else like that. Mm -hmm. I hate that. Because they got a different daddy and all that shit. Shay said, next question. All right, y'all. <laughs> How would you feel if your friend, um, had a kid, had a baby with your ex? I we had did a dream that about that. We didn't do that yesterday. Yes, we did do that yesterday. That was the question we did yesterday. Next question. No, Shira and the first two got the same daddy. But next question. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Who is that? That's a ballad daughter. Is it true that people who have children together always have a sexual relationship? Mm. Okay, Queen of my yeah. bed. Now who's tweaking? Thumbs up if she's tweaking. My bed. <laughs> yeah. So that was the question right there. Hey, Taisha. Taisha, what's up? Is it true that the person you have a kid with and you are no longer with always have a sexual relationship? Just because y'all got kids together, will y'all always have a sexual relationship? I don't know. It's depending <laughs> on how you feel about that person. No, nah, it ain't about no feeling. It's just the fact that I got kids with him or I got kids with her. We still have sex because we have kids. I don't know, y'all. They say the baby me. daddy always can hit the baby See, mama. See, everybody throwing up their fingers. You tweaking. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that, y'all. Let's see this this answer from look at Shantae just on Team Coco. Thank you, Shantae. Y'all hit Team <laughs> Nuno if y'all with me. Team Coco, y'all with her. Hey, cousin. Michelle said no. Gabby said hell no. Royal Lakia said no. I used to feel like that when I was younger, but now I'm older, so no. Once you get gone, you gone. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, but um, Quita, a lot of older people still do it, shit. I guess it just depends on the person, like, how much you know, how strong you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people old as hell, shit, maybe older than you still do it. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to pull one of these. Let's see what's going to be next. But like you said, I'm with you. That's my motto, um, Shay. Once you gone, your oh, ass gone. gone. Kids or not. Because if we ain't together and we got kids, then it was all bad any damn way. Let me see. If he got a woman and got kids, um, and you got kids by him, you're going to be the baby mama and the sad chick. Yeah, baby mothers can be sad chicks. Baby mothers could definitely be sad chicks. Shay said that's weak mannered to me. That's weak mannered to me as well, Shay. Very weak. Let me see. Nope, it's all about the kids. Once it's over, I'm moving on with it. It ended for a reason. How he gonna say he gonna hit, hit this bitch back? <laughs> <laughs> for real. You making it seem like, and it's, it's a control issue. Like, I know I can know you Just come over here if you want to. That goes back to why people be having kids by people. Because they think they could trap them and stuff like that. That's part of, like, the same question. It's just controlling. If you got a weak motherfucker, you going to use them. Period. Okay, the last question for the night. Mm-mm. <laughs> Next question, why can't people own up to their own mistakes? If I was wrong, I'd tell myself that I was wrong. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not, I tell myself that I was wrong because <laughs> I don't do that kumbaya. Ain't nobody finna sit around at no table and try to figure nothing out and toast you about, well, you, girl, oh, shut up, boy, shut up, whatever, you now know what I'm saying? that's kind of irritating to me, like, when you got to explain why you did something to somebody yeah. at the time, like, that's irritating as hell, like, if I can't handle communicate uh, a conversation with you without explaining why I said what I said, like, I, I don't want to talk to you, that's irritating. That's irritating as hell. Let me see, this is a Marie... Then you get pregnant again, back in the same stupid ass situation. Mm -hmm. You just started your troubles all over again. But Donna said, "Cause they don't, they don't want to be judged." Okay, but you did it, and that judging, what the judging is, what makes you better. You know what I'm saying? Admit to your fault. How can you move on? Like you live and you learn. I feel like if you don't live it out, then you're not gonna learn from it. Shay said, "Because people believe they own lies. They really do." Motherfucker lie so much to the point where they believe that shit. They believe they own lies. Like, yeah, cut it out. Own up to that shit. You Cause did we that do shit. know somebody like that. That she's a real big lie, and you be looking at her like she'll probably put you in a lie. Like, boy, me, Coco, and Nunu, we was eating breakfast this morning, and we ain't seen her in about three weeks. Mm -hmm. Like, and she really believe that. Yeah, I think that's another damn disease. That's a disease. Like, like jealousy, that that damn line. Yeah. I don't know, but I, I, I just, that's why I don't be trying like trying to deal with a lot of people because I don't like debates. I don't like arguing. I don't like sitting around trying to fit something. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no therapist. I don't. I don't I don't got time for that shit. I think something wrong with like, cause you know the boxes when they make comments, they gray. But when they come green, I can see. But when they gray, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome, damn. Shay, Quita, having Gabby said my cousin like that. Yes, girl. I don't know. All right, y'all. <laughs> Last question for the night. The Don't night. forget, you guys, go to Boom. YouTube. Yes. Subscribe yes. so we can start going live. That way we can play our music. We can get more inside conversations. A lot of things we could do on YouTube that we can't do on Facebook. So please subscribe. I got a YouTube. Like that yes, I'm going to repost the link on my page in part one of the video. The link is already copied and pasted into the video. Subscribe to our page, y'all, because we're going to have to go live from YouTube. And, like, I want all y'all to come over there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Real, Share the video. Tell y'all friends to subscribe to the page because we really need them subscribers. Like, for real, we're going to be YouTube crazy. Um. Since Taisha came on here late, Taisha, if you have any questions that you missed the questions, you could just write them in the bottom and we'll try to answer before we go off air. Yes. Thank you, um, Michelle. 
Hey, that Yolanda. Said, Quita said. I got a cousin like that too. Who's that, Green Rings? Yeah, I could see if they watching, like the person that's watching, like, hey, Yolanda, but I can't see, like, the comments. Like, I can see y'all coming, but it's so blurry, but I can see the names. So I don't know if the green just, I don't know. <laughs> Michelle yeah, said this I'm was so good. Fine. We appreciate it, Michelle. Check out some of the other Thank videos you. on my page. Well, go to my YouTube and check out the videos. All the videos then post on YouTube. They cut them for whatever reason. So check out uh, the videos on my page. They're really good. It's a lot of things in the videos that were posted already that y'all might need, mm -hmm. want to hear, or even thinking about, or either going through the same thing. So check those out. She said, girl, go get some glasses. I got some, but they don't be working. I love this. This personal growth for everyone. Yes. We all helping yeah. each other. And then another thing, it's a lot of different reasons why we do this. And it's sad that one of our videos got reported because we was doing this like, we doing this to have fun, to uplift each other. Because we go through stuff just as well as y'all go through. Maybe we can help each other. You know what I'm saying? And then it keeps a lot of people indoors and outside from outside right. getting hurt and things like that. It's a lot of different reasons why we do this. We just don't do this because we want to do this. We do this to help. People, Michelle said you blind, blind. Yes, we have I'm a blind, link, blind. Michelle. Our videos with the blue bunnies on, they wouldn't let none of, they wouldn't let neither one of them videos post to YouTube or part two and the pink bunny. But they are on my page. And Michelle, the YouTube that means link. You need a new prescription. Nope, I can see now. The YouTube link is in the first video. It's all okay. down my page, but I will send it to you again in a text message. So if you go to the link, you can go right to the page. We need more questions. Let me invite y'all. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we have a few people that do, you know what I'm saying, send us questions because they be want to chat. They be want to hear other opinions, and I do too. Most of them be about me, whoever, you know what I'm saying? So, us as women talking about it and helping each other, I think that's cool because a lot of us on here. Yeah, and men as well. There's a lot of men that's Like, a lot about. of us on here, like, we may be from the hood or just Facebook friends. You know what I'm saying? We wouldn't go to each other's house or call each other on the phone or, you know what I'm saying, talk about this and that and I'll let this lab give us a reason all to talk about shit. So, you know what I'm saying? That's the good that. thing about it. We said, I don't forgive easy. And then it's kind of good because we ain't, we not no fake people. Like, yeah. we mostly, every, not only us, but you guys as well. We all keep it real. Let me see. I, I don't forgive easy. Once you bogus, I stay away from people. I hold grudges. But I just don't like motherfuckers no more. You know what? I do the same thing. Like, I don't forgive easy. Why well, I didn't forgive easy? Like, I it ain't been too long that I just got over this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So don't wait. Don't waste no time. And it feel a lot it feel a lot better. Because you're not you know forgiving them, you forgiving for yourself. You're not forgiving for them. You forgiving for yourself. So that could make you You supposed to yeah. forgive. It's better to forgive. That was real. You know what I'm saying? But just yeah. because you forgive a person don't mean that you have to forget, forget. the situation or that you gotta go back talking to them because you done forgave them. You forgiving them for yourself. Don't hold no grudge. It ain't worth it. Especially on somebody you don't fool with. Like, you giving them a part of yourself. Donna said damn fool. Gabby said for tomorrow. Okay, Gabby just hit either one of us in the inbox. Mm -hmm. Gabby got all the questions and answers. <laughs> yes. Alright, I got y'all bunny sisters. You found the link, Michelle? I want advice on an alpha woman in a relationship. It's being strong too bad. Wait, it's being strong too bad that can sometimes, what that say? Demasculate a man. It's being strong. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to let your, your head down. Sometimes, sometimes you, you do. You got to let, your, and let your man be a man. Help. But shit, sometimes these men get too comfortable and don't want to be a man. Mm -hmm. Don't want to help. Don't want to take care of the kids. Don't want to cook, like clean. Don't want to know. work. Want you to do everything. Like so, you demasculating your damn self. You gotta know if he worth that. Is you worth me? You know what I'm saying? Cause I mean, I feel like he'll jump up to your level if he know what you is. He shouldn't have to fall back too far. You get what I'm saying? Mm -mm. Like, if you know what type of woman I am, you know I'm a go-getter. You know I'm going to be on my stuff. 
and you just sitting around or you feeling weak because you can't provide, that means you have to double that. I feel like you need to work harder because you knew who you was getting in this relationship with. You weren't getting in this relationship with somebody weak. But what if you already been in this relationship for so many years and it didn't start like this, but you know what I'm saying? At this particular time, period, in the relationship, that just changed. Like, all of a sudden, like, what if you both was doing it together? You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And I always been good, but you, you get to find the out point. where it changed. Right. You have to find out where, you have to where find it changed. Where did it go wrong? And that's when counseling come in. Donna said, look at them granny frames. I said, I've been telling these slow-ass Vegas hoes to subscribe. Please tell them, um, Taisha, and subscribe as well. I know you did already, because we're going to be going live from YouTube, because Facebook keeps shutting us down. Shay said, everyone lose, everyone help each other. Only weak individuals go and talk outside of shit, and you got to live with trying to... Like trying to hurt somebody. Trying to hurt somebody. Uh, yes, LaDonna, she needs some new ones. <laughs> no, I can see. They that. going in. These was I got these. Thank y'all for sharing. They look like shades. The other glasses look like glasses, glasses. And then I can't wear metal frames. I have to wear plastic frames. Metal frames give me headaches. Mm -hmm. So I have to get stuff like this. Pieces of Marie. Why do people fuck after they cousins or family members? Because they some hating ass bitches. Yeah. They, they some hating, mad, jealous ass bitches and they want your motherfucking life. They feel like if he doing this for you, he doing that for you. He Not even just same, about man. him all the time. You know what I'm saying? They they want to be you. And they, they want to hurt ass you. ass bitches. Sometimes they feel like they hurting you if they do that. Already happened to me before. That's why I could tell you. Hating, weak, whack, jealous Bitter, bomb ass bitches. Yes, this is me. It's good and bad. Michelle say, Yeah. I'm with you to the end. Yup. Gabby said, Being so strong in a relationship could definitely sometimes make a man feel weak at times, fall back sometimes. But what yeah. if that's your only option is to be but strong? But what you, you asking what me to fall back on? What part of me? Right. It's depending on what part of me you asking me to fall back on. Because the part that I want to fall back on, you probably don't want me to fall back on. Yeah, but my thing is, like, what if I don't have no choice, though? Is what I'm saying. What if I don't have no choice but to be strong? Right. You know what I'm saying? How you gonna get mad because I'm making you feel weak when you're not but providing me, for me? Make me feel that way that I need to let my hair down or I need to... You know what I'm saying? Because if I'm the provider of the house or uh, something like that, you know what I'm saying? Then you take care of the kids then. Give me a reason to, you know, sit back some, you know what I'm saying? To lay off you like, well, okay, well, I'm the provider, but he do take care of the kids. You know what I'm saying? Or... Yeah. Give me a reason to want to do that for you. Donna said, all right, Gabby, tell her to fall back a little bit. <laughs> she said, you have to let him do his thing. All right. I'm just going to be that queen then. I'm just going to be that queen. Because I'm, I, I don't know, because sometimes I be too strong too, so I don't know. So, judging from the comments, a lot of people saying just what? Even just if you're strong, even if you're strong, just let them do it. I never heard that, and that's that coming too goddamn late, Shay. <laughs> so this is the last question before we end it. I want to know how do you feel? Let me see. You want to know how do you somebody? feel about women who live off of public assistance? Oh. Like, you don't have to. You can get your ass up and get a job and take care of your kids. I could talk about that for hours. Because that's sad. Oh, my God. I'm going to take off the bench. I bed. know. That's why I don't be wanting to win. I'm like, and then y'all going to try to stun on me, though. Like, talk about my glasses, though. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, but if you're with a man, obviously you feel some security with him. Let him be a man. And do what he's supposed to do. You're right, you're I understand that. Tell him that. This shit should be equal with him. This is a Marie. That's true, Gabby. That's true. That comment. Yeah, she summed it all up the right yeah, way. Yeah, the right way. And that comment laid as hell, too. 
Why do men and sisters be so phony with everybody? Sis, oh, I've been through that play situation. All Why do me and sisters be, be so phony with everybody? Because they love they um take my mama name off of here. <laughs> sis. And they play both sides. Well, I don't know. I don't get that question. I've been in that situation. Basically, what she's saying is why uh, brother sisters be phony kicking it with the girl. Like, if, if real bring a girl over here, we all up in her face. Like, what up, sis? Like, and then he bring another girl over here, we all up in her face. What up, sis? And then he bring another girl. Like, knowing right. that he got these several girls, but we taking up for him. Now, we ain't finna do that shit because I'm like not finna allow him to bring nobody, nobody this to this motherfucking well, house. He said, I do. It was over. I ain't having that. Because I tell his ass, but my brother, not like every other man, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. He know better. He wouldn't do no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, ain't no phony kicking it. Ain't no sis, sis my ass. This my sister right here. Period. Mm-mm. We ain't doing that. But you got to know, when you get in a relationship with anybody, their family going to come before anybody. So, they going to rat it out with their family through it all. So... I just she being loyal to her brother, she have no reason to be loyal to you. Exactly. Shay said because you gotta know that his family ain't your family, right? Yeah. Fuck y'all, get my stamps. I never cared and I don't mind working. I love oh, working. But, I, but I like having stamps too. Shit, I ain't like nothing wrong with that, Gabby. <laughs> Little mama getting ready. I'm about to walk her over there in a minute. Okay. Okay. I'm still up. It's nothing wrong with living out public assistant, but I feel like public assistant is a stepping stone. Like, some people live off Section 8 forever. That's a stepping stone. That should allow you to build your money up to buy something where when your kids get older and things like that, they'll have something to fall back on. My plan is to make a plan right. for my child. Right. Future. So, if the government go pay for it, let them pay for it. But at the same time, I'm going to be, you know, doing, I got to do the same, my money and stuff like that. That's what. That's how right. I feel about it. Yeah. But she, I be looking for people who selling link and everything. So, like, ain't nothing wrong with that, period. But ain't when you get too lazy, it. it's something wrong with That's it. That's what I mean. My loyalty to my brother, but I don't phony kick it with females at all. We ain't friends. Just speak and keep it brief. Right. Right. Yep. So, pieces of Marie. Follow that YouTube page. Shay says, stack we, my bread. We um answer her question. Hey y'all, I feel it's a trap, but trap <laughs> me. Let me see. It's a lot. Of, so I hit the lotto. <laughs> Since these nuts, okay, <laughs> motherfuckers ain't never getting off second session eight. I'm waiting on session ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wish I can, but at the meantime, yeah, like. Yeah, it is a stepping stone. It's, I agree. It's, it's a stepping stone, stepping but stone. a lot of people um take advantage of it. Like, come on now. That's why I said I could talk for that for hours because I can go deep because I feel like it's another reason for the government to tear black homes down. Yeah. Because, like, when you're on section, section 8, they don't want your men staying with you or you got to put him on there. Most of the time, your men's got felonies or, you know what I'm saying? Black people go through a lot of stuff. They have a lot of stuff on their background and things like that. So, I kind of think, like, it's a... Way to break our family. It's a trail. trap. It's a trap. It's definitely a trap. Because people on Section 8, they take from low income to the bad area, move their ass to the suburbs, or they'll move um, this person next to this person that ain't getting along and all that. It's like, but it's I don't a trap. Understand, like, if you're on Section 8 and your rent $15, why you want to buy your son a $1,000 penalty when you can put that $1,000 up for a house or when right. something happens to you? He'll have somewhere to for, live forever. I don't understand. Yeah, we say, yeah, they do. I ain't trying to be on this motherfucker forever. I got goals, and I'm going to get there. Yeah. Yep, and I hope you do. All this shit is a setup. Yeah. 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 What in your abscess? I'm about to buy a house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, y'all. So, my baby baby finna come in here. Gonna make her go to bed. Thank you all for watching. Thank y'all for coming back when the video mm -hmm. shut down. But we're gonna remain on Facebook probably what another week or whatever to no, get everybody to subscribe so we can go live from YouTube. The link is on my page. Go down my wall if you don't. 
have it, and I'm also about to repost it. <laughs> I know that's right, Gabby. But I just need my three fifty seven. <laughs> so God bless you all. Good night. Good night. Stay wrapped in the blood of Jesus. We love y'all. And stay prayed up. Stay prayed up. Thanks for watching. Bye. Good night.